Well, good evening, Kane and kids and families. Hope you guys are all doing well and had a great week so far. Are right, enjoying your evening as well. Hope you all had a great Sunday. And if you um, were in Children's Church in Junior, I hope you had a great time in studying God's Word together and worshiping. But not only just that, if you would like to join us, you can come and join us our upcoming Sunday. You know, our children's ministry is moving forward during this time. As we move forward, we're having children's church at 9 a.m. and children's journey group at 10.30 a.m. And these are all together for first through sixth grade during this time um, before we transition into getting back to our regular children's church and journey group hours or journey group age ranges. So just want to share that information with you and just let you guys make you aware of what's going on as we continue to move forward in our children's ministry here at Canaan Baptist Church. Well, tonight I want to share with you a journey group lesson for Sunday, July 12th. So go ahead and grab your Bibles. And this time we're not turning too far because you know, last week we talked about Habakkuk, which is in the Old Testament. Well, we turn, after you go three chapters into Habakkuk, um, you turn one page over, you should hit the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah, which, just like Habakkuk, only has three chapters. And so, you can turn in the book of Zephaniah, and we're talking about today Zephaniah, who's the prophet of Judah. We'll be covering chapters 1, 2, and 3. And see, King Josiah wanted to lead the people to worship God. Now, he had many of the false idols in Judah destroyed. So he had some destroyed, but Zep King Josiah wanted to lead the people to worship God. And Zephaniah was a prophet to God's people while Josiah was king. Although some of the people repented of their sin, not everyone did repent of their sin. And God gave Zephaniah a message to warn the people that their sin will result in Judah and Jerusalem being conquered. Now, Zephaniah warned the people that God told him to. And he said these words out, and Zephaniah said, The great day of the Lord is near. The day of the Lord is a day when God will judge his enemies for their sins and bless his followers for their faithfulness. And he also said, Seek the Lord. Zephaniah said, Seek the Lord, everyone who is humble and obeys his commands. Zephaniah also said, Seek righteousness and seek humility. While on the day of the Lord, on the day of the Lord, Moab, Cush, Nineveh and many more kingdoms will be punished for their sin. God's people like that. God's people like that. But Zephaniah warned God's people were sinning and would also be punished. The leaders in Judah were sinful. The priests did not honor God. The officials and judges were not even honor God. While the other people would have consequences for their sin, God did not leave his people without hope. Zephaniah spoke of the day when God will call people from all nations to him, and the people will follow God and serve him. Those who are humble and seek the Lord will be protected. And he said this, The Lord will be with you. You will never fear again. The Lord is a mighty one who saves. God will delight in you, and you will know his love and joy. And as God promised, he said, I will bring my people back together. I will restore you. So Zephaniah is a prophet of Judah. God's making his promises because you know what? God always keeps his promises. And that we're all sinful people. All of us sin. I have sinned. You have sinned. We have all sinned. But we need to learn to turn away from our sin and focus on God and let God lead our steps and guide our paths. Also, I want you to remember the following from our story about Zephaniah, the prophet of Judea. Judah, sorry. God sent Zeph Zephaniah as a prophet to warn the people of the seriousness of sin. Sin has consequences. Sin is serious. And so God sent Zephaniah to share um, with the people the seriousness of sin. Also, Zephaniah warned the people that God would eventually bring consequences for the sin because sin has consequences. And when God tells us to do something, we should obey. Just like when your parents tell you to do something, you should obey. When God tells it, we should obey. We might think that we know better and we try to do it our way and God's just sitting there listening. I, I told you so. Listen to me. Follow my follow my lead. He know God knows what's best for us. We just need to stop and trust and just listen to him. And so um, as we continue to study um, the uh, prophets, uh, Habakkuk, and of course today, Zephaniah to this evening. Well, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you for us tonight, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our Canaan kids and families, Lord. Just thank you, Lord, for the blessing they are to Miss Jamie and myself, Lord. Just a blessing they are not only to our family, but also our Canaan family, Lord. 
just ask you to just be with our Canaan Church family, Lord, as we continue to navigate the waters, we continue to move forward in ministries, and just continue to watch over our families and keep them safe and healthy. And just ask you just to be with us throughout this week. In your name we pray. Amen. Canaan kids, hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys all have a great week. Enjoy this week. Enjoy time with your family. Summer is in full swing, still going strong. Um, just stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you guys real soon. Have a great week. Have a good evening. Bye.